Today is part one of surviving 100 days in Minecraft. Let's get into it. So, I loaded in the world, and the first thing I did was chop down the wood and make some tools. Then I decided to go mining to get some stone. And then I got a bit of stone tools as well. So that, and then I started mining the dark oak because I was going to need a bit of it for my base, which I was going to build, which I had a pretty good idea for. So then I then I chopped down a oak tree because I wanted to try and collect collect all the types of wood. And then I put, I spend most of this day waiting to get some dark oak, sap, oak saplings so I can plant them. But for right now I chop down a birch tree and yeah, break all its leaves to make sure I get a birch sapling. Then I come back and I just now, then I come across my first mob, which are two spiders which I take out easily with my stone axe. And then two zombies come up, one with a shovel, which I wanted for some odd reason. There, I got it. So then I spend most of it, like I said, getting dark oak and trying to get saplings. I ran out of axe durability along the way, so I had to make a new axe. So, and carry on breaking and then I break the tree again it's also if you want this took a long time to make so please consider watching to the end um yeah so then I decide to go and I found a mushroom which I would I'm going to use for my main source of food because I can make mushroom, mushroom stew. So I mine the mushrooms which I need, which are brown mushrooms and red mushrooms. For here I don't have enough mushrooms so I decide to carry on breaking it. And maybe go on to the next tree then I kill for some kill a pig for some food and I look at my surroundings and find out I'm on a mountain top which is my deal so I carve out space in the mountain for the night so I spend most of the night mining it, it takes <laughs> it took a long time because I didn't have a bed all I had was one piece of wool from that spider. I wasn't confident enough to go out and I was looking for iron. As you can see, I did a lot of getting charcoal. Okay, so I got a campfire and I cooked some of my food on there. Then I started tunneling down. I hadn't found any iron at all. So I carry on tunneling. I mine this copper for some reason, and then I walk all the way back up. I grab more charcoal, I go outside, get scared, and then I decide to go to make a lot more torches and go back down in the mine for more mining. And I get a lot of coal, and nothing much else, because... I haven't found any iron in this mine, which I find weird. Because I've never been not able to find iron this far down on a mine. So I go back up the mountain. Of, and then it makes day, then it's day two. Uh, I've got copper. And then I get my copper. I wait for the things to cook. And then I trek down the mountain and grab all I need for a bed. 
So on day two, I went exploring this lush cave, which was exciting because then I got moss, and I was on the lookout for an axolotl, which I didn't find, but yeah. So I'm breaking some glowberries because I also thought glowberries would be a good food resource. I get more mushrooms. I also make new tools throughout the moss carpets. Then I found some iron. But then I get attacked by a baby zombie and a dad zombie. Look how close I am. One and a half hearts. That is too close for comfort. So now I'm just getting everything set up on a nice tall area so I can get food and get a campfire. I break it down, I go back and I actually get the two iron. Keep in mind this was about four minutes. <laughs> and then I go adventuring for more iron but that's the only iron I can find on this day. So I make some bowls again, because I think I ran out of bowls, and make some mushroom stew. Then I decide to go back to the surface as the night of day two comes in. So as I've got a new bed, I decide to use it to sleep. Day three, I decide to go look for a village. No, not a village, a place to settle. So, here I am making my way down the mountain and into the birch forest. I wouldn't particularly like to live there, but I thought it would be the best place to try and look for lava pits that I know of. Anyway, so after a lot of adventuring, I come across something wait for it oh yeah i first then i come across a lava pit which i which i said and i decide to build my house here so i start by building the corner getting some dark wood which i don't think even is enough then i realize it's off center bit so i block the windows up because i don't need windows anymore and I build this. Then I decide I want to, the house to be like a tower. So I build up once more. Try and stop the fire to make sure my house doesn't burn down. Build again. Builds up again for the tower. And then I have made my house. Next thing I decide to do is make a granite roof because I had a bunch of granite from the mine but I didn't have enough. I decide to mine out the center and make the center moss. I don't know why but then I finish my house. On the night of day three I decide to make my house look a bit better adding cobblestone to the floor day four i decided to do some mining on day four because i want iron just so i can make a bucket kit and maybe complete another portal so i decided to dig down and look for iron i find lapis before i find iron and then some more copper and then I decide to go make some chests because I need to store some of my stuff in. And then I decide to go off looking and then I come back early. Now I go off looking for a mine but I come back because I needed something. I go across the river and go down to a mine which I found and I find deep slate iron but then I decide to go back up. I just spotted some iron. Then I get some more copper, build up, and go across. 
and I sleep. So day five, day five I decide to build a nether portal because I am ready for that. So I build this little contraption doohickey and then I build a little area to keep the water and put the lava in. It takes me quite a while because I'm not I'm not like as good as a speedrunner. So I just slowly make the portal. Mm -hmm. And then I make it, but I also fail horribly at it. At one point, I block up all the lava pools of near me. So make a new thing i plant some trees get some gravel make some tea steel and in the nether i am i find some gold and then <laughs> out of fear i decide to go back to, to the overworld so for this day i also built the nether portal but then i sleep to day six on this day, I didn't really have a clue what to do, so I tried making my house look better. I spent most of the day decorating, so I made a three copper blocks, hopefully to use it, but then I decided I want to make like a power grid, so I used lightning rods. I go back into the nether to get some stuff, and I decide to get more gold out of everything i don't go adventuring in the nether at all because i'm too scared and i ran out of mushrooms so i won't have food so i go put all my stuff away i make some gold nuggets i make this i make an axe and i chop down the entire tree this took a while to chop it down but I'll, I like the noises, so. Yeah, then I decide to slaughter an innocent sheep to get meat. Uh, I don't know what I was thinking, but anyway. I, I did need food anyway, but I get a lot of um, wood and I make a thing off the side. I want to put a compost in there, but instead... I decide to work on the floor and make a stripped and non-stripped oak floor, which looks pretty nice. Day 7. So on day 7 I decide to do some decorating on my house. I also, wait, yeah, I decide to make a farm and get food sorted out for the next couple of days, which... <coughs> It's going to happen after this episode. So I then mess around with crimson roots. Decide I need some more crimson roots. Just so I can finish off the roof of the moss. If there was green crimson roots that would be amazing. But I digress. Then I decide to get, because I'm trying to collect all, jung all saplings. I decide I wanted to get a jungle sapling. Which this villager had. So I dig him a little hole and trap him in there <laughs> which is pretty mean but at least now i've got that okay then for the rest of the day i'm trying to get another sapling from the dark oak tree which i had i i'm i think i I, it says here that I got very confused and then I decided to use my composter to try and get something. I go off collecting seeds and flowers and then I put these away. I get bone meal and I decide to use it on moss. I grab the azalea bush which I want to get an azalea tree so I can get the flowers. So I carry on looking. It doesn't plant for some reason and then and then I decide to um cook some stuff for some for this day I decide also to build a little mountain where I would 
stand on for the last day. I will stand on this mountain and look over my territory. Day eight. I decide to, for this day, in preparation for what I'm going to do in the next couple of days, but next episode for you, I go hunting. <clears throat> so I get some chicken, and then I get lost on my way back to my base, and then I find it. I cook everything. And then, for some reason, I just stand there. I do a bit more looking around. I get mobile. Don't know why this part is slowed down. Oh, yeah, I put all my meat in. I get rid of my my other stuff. I get more wood. I then throw birch wood in the lava. And then, this is the last. So, hopefully you enjoyed this. Three, two, one. Ah, eight days.